We're going to look at three different beats that I made when I started producing, and I'm going to see what I can do to fix them. By fix, I mean basically making a hyper pop remix. Let's start with beat number one. To give some context, this was 2016. I'd been producing music for two years, and uh, the chain smokers were really hot. Let's load this up in the Ableton because that's where all my stuff is. On its own, it's not like a bad idea. If you listen close, for whatever reason, the kick is different each time. I don't know what was going on, and I still don't, so I'm just going to get rid of it. mistake that I made when I was starting producing is whenever you feel that feeling of like you want to sing over it, I would add in an instrument using that part. But really what you want is just like to keep that space there. I'm going to leave that open and maybe just fill it with like very simple melodies. I guess I have to use this snap in some way. All right, so I'm pretty much done with the beat. Do I have anything cool going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of do like a fake out in the arranging. I had this idea of like a fake out rise intro thing, and it's just like a two bar instrumental. I feel like it kept the original idea. Let's hear that original piano clip again. And now the updated hyper pop version. All right, let's do beat number two. This one, I looked back and I really like it. It's from 2018. I've been making music for four years at this point. I don't even think this is a bad beat. I just want to come back to it. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the whole waves thing, this is a point in my life where I literally put the same sample in every single song. It was this wave sample. Somehow I snuck it into every single song. It's just from like freesound.com or whatever. That was the thing I did. 
All right, let's put this in Ableton. I ended up using some of the percussion, actually. I just layered it over this drum and bass loop. But besides that, we got a pretty classic kick snare hyper pop drop. Here's what the original sounded like. And here's what the hyper pop remix is. Doing beat number three now. This one was actually called Night Court Experiment. Maybe I was onto something. All right, let's take a listen. There's lots of stuff to work with there. All right, why don't I load it up into Ableton now? Gonna do something fun. How's that for an outro? The slow reverb in the spirit of Night Court, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just about done with this beat. I'll play it in a second. Let me know which one was your favorite flip remix. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.